Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how I did my flower tree. And first of all, the things that you're going to need to make the tree. I'm using a styrofoam cone that is four and a half inches in diameter on the bottom and 18 inches tall. You could use any size that you wanted. Um, you'll need some acrylic paint. I ended up mixing several colors together to get the background that I wanted. Um, you can do that or, or just use a single color of paint. And uh, before I put the paint on, I did coat the cone with uh, some Mod Podge as a primer. Um, you might use other products. This is just what I had on hand and it worked really well. For the flowers, you'll need some accordion flowers and I have a separate video on that that is linked um, in the description below this video. Uh, so you'll need quite a bit of pattern paper. I did a lot of mine from Chevron Papers and some buttons and brads to do your flowers. Of course, you could put sip flowers or other things on your tree. I, just, uh, I wanted to do the accordion flowers. Um, you'll need some ribbon. I'm using a um, sheer type ribbon that has a little bit of wire in it to make it a little bit easier to manipulate going up, uh, around the, the tree. And some pins. Um, even if you decide to glue your flowers onto your tree, which is an option, um, you'll still want some pins for, for placing the them things and arranging them on the on the tree. So those are your materials. I've, I had everything I needed except the actual styrofoam tree. So I just used a lot of things that I had already in my craft room. So let's get started with uh, working with the cone and getting it painted. For my first layer, I'm going over the entire cone of styrofoam with a coat of Mod Podge as a primer. Okay, here it is thoroughly coated with Mod Podge. And I'm going to let this dry. With the primer dry, I'm ready to paint. And I've mixed up my own uh, kiwi green color here from several other paints. And since I'm not sure if I have quite enough, I'm going to be sponging this kind of in different places over the tree and then working my way around to filling all of it rather than just starting from the bottom and going to the top. That way if I have to mix more paint I can just blend it in and I won't have a tree that's one color in one place and one color in another. I want to add a little bit of additional color uh, to the cone before I put the flowers on. So I have some bubble wrap and I'm going to uh, sponge paint on the bubble wrap and then wrap it in a spiral around my cone to get um, color in at least some of the areas. doing kind of a light application of this color or maybe a little heavier on some of the bubbles and a little lighter on others. I have plenty of that other green paint so I was able to cover it all in the kiwi and this is how I'm going to add a little bit of variation in color. Make sure I get the seam on the back side of this. Okay. 
and that's just a hint of extra color not an overdose um, now I need to do the rest of it Now when I get finished, this is probably going to be the front because I'm going to have flowers coming around here and then wrapping on around and finishing up on the, the top. Okay. I've taken the ribbon and I've just spiraled it around the tree kind of loosely and, and all I'm doing here is giving myself a guideline for placing the flowers. This is not actually exactly how the ribbon is going to be. I'm going to be bunching it up and stuff underneath my flowers, but I needed something to sort of guide my placement as I'm going around uh, with the flowers. And I'll be working probably three quarters of the way around the cone. The very back of the cone will be up against the wall, and if I have enough rosettes or accordion flowers already made, I'll, I'll, use, I'll put them in there, but I don't think that I do, so I'm, I'm probably not going to worry too much about the very back. But it depends on where you're sitting, and if you're putting on a table, you you got to do the whole thing all the way around. So um, I'm just placing a couple of flowers to see what I want where, and I'm using pens to hold them in place, not pushing the pens all the way in, just to get an idea where they're going to go, and then I can either glue them on or uh, continue to use pens and just hide the pen down uh, in the center underneath the brad or the button. This is my favorite of the rosettes and I haven't decided whether I want to put it here in this middle section or I want it to be on the very very top of the tree. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure on that. Um, this is another one that I think is really interesting. And so all I'm doing is just kind of getting an idea where they go by just pinning them in partially in so I can start uh, filling in the gaps and putting in some of the other colors, some of the solid colors. And this will be better done with the tree sitting up. So I'm going to turn the recorder off while I do this and we'll come back and kind of show you how my process is going in a moment. Okay, this is my first um, try at arranging the flowers and the ribbon and I don't think I'm quite there. It's a little too uniform for me in that each of the sections is just too even going around here. I think I need to um, separate the flowers out. Maybe have too many flowers. Um, I'm not sure. There's just not, there's something not quite right. Um, I had also thought about putting some just buttons in between in some of the areas because I have some really large buttons that I don't have a lot of good uses for. So I'm going to, um, I'm probably going to leave this actually overnight because um, it's getting dark and it's hard to see in my craft room when I don't have a lot of natural light. So I think I'm going to leave this until tomorrow and come back and play with it a little bit more and then show you um, how it finished up. For the assembly, I'm finding that I, well, I've used pens for some things that the glue gun works the best to put the flowers on once you're comfortable with where they're going to be. The pens, though, are invaluable for trying to figure out you know, what, what's going to go where. In fact, I have some little tiny buttons scattered around that I'm um, I think I might use, and this is giving me a good idea of whether I like those there or not. I'm also using the pens for the ribbon. Um, what I'm doing is just bunching it up just a little bit, tucking a little pleat of ribbon underneath some of the flowers and using a pen to hold that in place, just pushing that all the way in.
I'm also using the hot glue on the buttons. And the buttons are kind of filling in gaps and where it would be awfully small to have a rosette there and giving it a little bit more variety. Okay, here's the final flower tree. I'll show you an um, overall view of it in just a moment. Um, I glued the ribbon to the bottom, and the bottom was where I did my practice painting and messing with the Mod Podge and, and figuring out how I wanted to do the painting surface. So if you need to do any experimenting, the bottom is a good place for doing that. And I hot glued or pinned, mostly hot glued, the flowers in place, tucking the ribbon underneath with some pens for that and, a, and glue in just a couple of places. This was a good project for using material, using scraps. The only thing I bought was the styrofoam cone. The everything else I had in my stash, including some of these large buttons that I've been trying to figure out uh, what to do with. In terms of design, from where I was showing you um, a little bit further back in the video with you know just placing the flowers and playing with them. I had this one, my favorite, up on top. I've, I moved that pretty quickly in the process and figured out that that was the key is not having that big flower on top in terms of what I liked for my design. So um, I moved it down to the middle and that made a lot of difference um, in the design. And my flower, my tree is going to be going up against a wall, so the very, very back doesn't really have to have anything. But I've got, um, you know, at least three quarters of the way around uh, covered with flowers. So how I finished my ribbon at the top um, was I just used pens, since this won't be visible. Uh, but if you need to go all the way around with yours, you can tuck it behind your last flower um, with some pens or uh, glue uh, the final um, area of ribbon. And what I did for the very top was just glue a button on so it would have a finished appearance up there. And that's my tree and I'm really pleased with it. I think it's going to be a nice happy addition uh, to the house because I'm doing this in the middle of the winter and uh, bring a little bit of bright springy look um, into our home. Thanks for joining me and if you'll continue on with the video we'll show you the final uh, product in its proper place in our house.